So I've been really lazy this week. Hi guys, gals and all my pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. So in today's video, we're going to be checking in for week one of December's budget. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Ira. And on this channel, we talk about budgeting and saving up for a better future. For me, I'm saving up to own my first home as an individual. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel because you get to see me make stupid mistakes like I did this week. <laughs> I budgeted the correct amount and I did really, really well with my budget. However, I was just so lazy. I did not go grocery shopping once. I did not fill up my car with petrol. I just bought snacks all week. And I don't know what it is about the temperature in this country. Like all of a sudden it is so cold that all I want to do is crank up that heat in. I'm a bit warm at the moment. All I want to do is crank up that heat in and just stay in and eat rubbish. I've got to figure out what I've done with my money this week and make sure that I have a better week this week because I know that I eat better when I go grocery shopping. I don't just get takeaways and rubbish like that. I know I look after myself a lot better when I budget properly and when I actually spend the money that I've given myself. So yeah in today's video we're going to be using the december stunning budget booklet this is available on my etsy store this has been reduced to five pounds because we are in december at the moment the calendar inside is not dated but it comes with stickers so you can just stick the stickers in yourself so it can work for any month if you like a bit of a festive theme <laughs> so in today's video we're going to be looking at my spending on groceries petrol household just everything that i've spent my money on this week so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at that stunning budget book at the bestie. Okay, let's get started in this stunner with my calendar. So in my calendar, we use expense tracker stickers, which are free with this. And I'm tracking all of my expenses from the 4th all the way to the 10th. Let's get going. On the 4th, I went to the co-op and I bought a load of rubbish. And if you want to know what that rubbish was, there is a Vlogmas where I showed you what it was. It was just utter rubbish, but it was £19.80 and there was a co-op. Then on the Tuesday, my pet insurance came out and that was uh, 1880 as expected. No, it wasn't. I've messed that up. Cup was 1880 and pet insurance was correct amount, 1592. <laughs> oh, I don't pay attention, do I? Okay, we didn't go food shopping, but we did have a Chinese on the Tuesday and that cost us 35 pounds. And then out of pure laziness, we had a no spend on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday and on Saturday. So no spend on any of those days just because we didn't, I didn't put any petrol in my car and we didn't go grocery shopping. So, I mean, it's laziness, but I had no money left over spending anyway. So you were gonna see some no spends anyway. Okay, let's move over uh, to the check-in page because I need to check in for week one besties. Okay, I'm gonna start by filling in everything that I know. Okay, I'm gonna tilt this a little bit just so that you can see it a little bit better. So, uh, in terms of spending, last week I stuffed 22 pounds because I think I rolled an eight, and then I ended up spending 18 pounds 80, which left me with three pound 20. For groceries, we stuffed 68 pounds and we spent 35 pounds on that Chinese, which means that we've got 33 pounds left. For petrol, I stuffed 23 pounds and I spent zero, which means I've still got 23 pounds. And for household, we had already stuffed 40 pounds at the start of the month. So we don't stuff anything weekly for that. And then we spent nothing, which means I've still got 40 pounds left over. And then for unbudgeted, we stuff nothing and we spend nothing, which is lovely to see because I have had an unbudgeted spend at the start of the month before. I mean, we moved on from it. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, in terms of last week, we actually stuffed £113, but we only spent £53.80. Now, in terms of rollover, we're going to roll over £73, which is the £40 from household and the £30 from groceries. And then I'm going to deal with next this £320 and this £23. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so going into this, it's just the spending money we're taking out. And then we're moving over to, that was it, petrol. 
So we'll take out that petrol as well. So we've got 24, 5, 6, 26, 20. And if you see, I've got a 24 pound envelope. So I'm gonna take the 24 here, put it into a Christmas mini, and I'm gonna call that 24 pounds stuffed into the 100 envelope challenge, which I think is brilliant. Next, I've got £2.20. I'm going to put that in the adventure jar. And then moving over to the She's on a Budget Penny Challenge. What have I got? £2.20. £2.20. Yep, here she is. Fantastic. Okay, back in the Paytech Bell Tracker, I've only got one bill to account for. And I like to do this because I want to make sure that I'm on track with when my bills are out and what I'm doing. So uh, on the 5th, we had the bill for pet insurance and it was 15.92. I was expecting my phone to come out on the 10th, but it hasn't. So I'm just going to see what happens next week. Maybe because the 10th was a Friday, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So that is that done. So my next step is to go ahead and cash stuff for next week. Let's get going, besties. Okay, starting out with the resin binder from So Power Science is Perfect. If you'd like 10% off her store, have a look at the link in the description. The code is budget with Ira and it is well worth it because these are stunners. We've also got this binder that's available on my Etsy store. There is no code for that, but Still love ya. <laughs> and then we've got my cute little A7 binder that we were just pouring money out of. So let's go ahead and start stuffing. So I guess let's start with groceries. Let me move over. So we've already got some money in there. And what we wanna do is take 70 pounds out. So the way I do my saving challenges is I allocate myself some money and then I do a saving challenge. And then I save up with that saving challenge and what I've got left, I spend. So I give myself 70 pounds for uh, groceries and then I should have 140 left over. So 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. Fantastic. But before I stuff any of this money into groceries, I'm going to do my wild card challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a stunning suit of cards in the Budget with Ira Rainbow, and I absolutely love this. And what I'm doing is I pick a random card every single week, and whatever that card is, I save. So it goes one all the way through to 10. I use Jack as a 20, Queen as a 30, and King as a 40. But there are no rules for this game, so you can play it however, whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and draw this week's card. So I put my cards in the back of the wallet and I put it to the side so that I don't draw the same card twice. And what the intention is, is I'm gonna do this four times in a year. So we're down to the last couple of cards now. So I kinda, I hope I kinda get the 10 this week because I've already got money from last week. So I'm just gonna cut the deck here and I'm gonna save. Oh, that was good luck, wasn't it? So today I'm gonna save 10 pounds, which works out really, really well because we've got money left over. So that in tight weeks, I've not got much to save. So let me put this aside. And then the worst it can be next week is eight pounds. Not bad at all. I'm gonna put that in the back. And then I'm gonna take 10 pounds from here, put it into my wildcard challenge. And that's that. So I'm adding 60 to, I think this was 33. Yeah, that's right. So now we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 93 pounds to go shopping with. And literally, as soon as I filmed this, I'm going shopping with Jake, like it's happening. So that's that. See, it's too much money for this little A7. Right, moving over. Next is petrol. So petrol, I give myself 30 pounds a week. So 10 and 20, and then I should be left with 60. 10, 20, 40, 60. That goes back there. And before we stuff petrol, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll over to my pastel 10-sided dice challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a stunning pastel 10-sided dice. This is a stunning pink one. And there are like, there's like a pastel orange one. I know there's blue, mint, yellow, there's loads of different colors, but the pink is definitely the most popular. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling this every time I go to stuff petrol and whatever it is, I will save. And uh, I've got my little chart on the back. If I have rolled all of the numbers, I'll just re-roll it. But I haven't rolled all the numbers of anything yet. This week, I'm hoping for a low number because I didn't put any in my tank last week, did I? So let's just hope it was nice and low so I can put a lot in. Eight, good, that's good, that's good. I'll put in eight. So let me put that 10 in, take a two out. And 
then that gives me £22 for this week for petrol. Fantastic. Last but not least, and probably the most important one to me is spending. So spending, I give myself, again, the same £30 a week. So I should have £60 for the next two weeks, 10, 20, 40, 60. Beautiful. But before we stuff that £60, let's move over to my 1050 challenges available on my Etsy store. Now this one works the same as the Pestle 10 sided dice one. However, there is a 20 sided dice. So there is great peril in this one in the fact that I could roll a 20 and I have rolled all the 20s, but still now I'm nervous about a 19. <laughs> so I don't think I'll ever get not nervous. If I roll a 20, a 15, a 10 or a nine, then I'll just re-roll um, the number again just because I've already got those ones. So let's see what they get. I'm hoping for a low number. Uh, I've never rolled a one or a seven or a 16 before. So it'd be nice to get one of those, I think. Maybe not the 16. Four, it's not bad at all. Okay, so what have we got in here? Have I got six pounds in here? Oh, there's so much money in here. Uh, do you know what? It might be best if I just get some money at the adventure jar. One sec. So I've got some money. So I'm gonna put four pounds into here. And that is me done. So I've got 26 pounds for spending this week, which, do you know what? I'm all right with that. That's not too bad at all. Cool, thanks so much for being here with me this week, bestie. So I'm just packing up now. I'm done with my stunning A7 binder. The savings challenge binder is done and so is this dice. And we are done with the stunning, gorgeous acrylic one from So Power Size is Perfect. I will see you next week, bestie. Bye-bye. Hi guys, girls, non Pass, thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. And that is all I have for you this week. Um, make sure that you go ahead and follow me on TikTok so that you can see how I spent my, like, spending, not my spending money. What is it called? Savings challenge money for this week. Obviously, I post them on YouTube a couple of days later if you don't have TikTok. I'm not gonna deprive you of content, bestie. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me, especially the people who support me on Patreon. Without you, I cannot have my heating on. So thank you so much for allowing me to, you know, live tropically. Thank you so much. But that is all we have for today. Thank you so much. And I guess it's time to say, I would like you to have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again. Probably in two hours, because it's Vlogmas, isn't it? See you in two hours, bestie. Bye-bye.